You're listening to the Weekend Sport Podcast with Jason Pine from Newstalk ZB. Derry, great hands! What an easy lift Oh yeah, he's done it again! Was there any doubt? Here's Dylan Walker who's into the game. Johnson eludes that tackler. Now what an easy lift Back goes Arthur. Oh, no way! Stop it! Sometimes traffic jams can be busted, and Dylan's done it right there. Johnson, what about the hands? What an easy lift! Another one. It's a hat trick for Dylan. What a season he is having. We're joined by Warriors winger Dallin Watini Zalesniak, mate. Incredible again last night. I want to talk about your personal contribution in just a moment. But uh, six, wins, uh, six wins in a row now for the team. How do you reflect on, on last night's uh, performance and the win that took you to six in a row? Yeah, um, what you just said, six wins in a row, it's not, not too um, easy to do in the NRL. But um, and, and we've spoken about it as well, it's um, it's hard to win a game in the NRL, especially this year as well with how tight the competition is. And uh, to play against the Eagles we, the way we did last night, yeah, we got some things to work on, but we we did get that win, and they were very desperate and they played really well. So um, for us to come away with a win last night was um, yeah, it was really it was really good for us. But um, we won and we still got lessons to learn. I know you've uh, been together as a team today, earlier today. Uh, any yeah. particular messages from the coaches um, as they kind of start to review last night? Yeah, I think uh, it was just a, it was a quick uh, little review because our big one will be on Monday. But yeah, we just really spoke about. Um, I think it, it was pretty evident last night our defence wasn't the best. So um, in, in patches, our, our defence was good in, in in some some periods, but um, yeah, not so good in some patches. But uh, for us, it's um, yeah, they're easy fixes, and um, we'll, we'll get to work again this week like we have all year. Um, and, and fix those problems. You talk about that defence. It was very good in the second half. You kept them scoreless yeah, in the second exactly, half. So, yeah, yeah. So, so what was the chat at half time that led to a much better defensive display in the second? I think just um, focusing on us. Um, I think all year we've done that. We know and we're confident in what the coaches give us defensively and, uh, and in attack that um, we can win games. So uh, we just spoke about getting back to what we practised all, all week and, and the big one was um, defence. We love watching you score tries. I want to talk about that in a sec. But how much do you pride yourself personally on your defensive performance? If you walk off and you're happy with your defensive performance, is that a big metric for you? Yeah, well, everything builds off defence. I think when, if you're defending well, the attack looks after itself. You, you put put a lot of pressure on teams through defence. So, um, yeah, we know that if we work hard on defence, it makes uh, attacking easy. It means we're, we're winning the field position and we're attacking their line. So... Makes it a lot easier for us, uh, for us and getting the glory and putting the ball down. <laughs> well, let's talk about that. Had trick of tries last night. Twenty-one for the season now, equal yeah. top in the comp. Uh, why do you reckon you've been so prolific this season? Um, um, I think it's it's pretty simple. I'm, I'm happy. Um, I said it last night. My um, what my wife and doing at home with that. We've got three little kids, so. They're six, five, and two, so you can imagine our household and how crazy it is at times. So, <laughs> yeah, for me to be able to um, have a wife that does everything and and um, and yeah, she pretty much behind the scenes kinds of things. But everyone knows it, and the athletes know that if you've got kids, um, you're pretty much nothing without your partner. So yeah, she's doing an amazing job, and I think yeah, just really happy back here, and um, and yeah, and and, and loving. Loving being home, loving working, loving going to training with the coaches. Like we got a, a big, a big thing actually is our is our is Webby, my coach, and uh, also the assistant coaches, uh, Stacey, Stacey Jones, um, Justin Morgan, and especially Rich Agar. He works closely with me, so um, I've been able to learn quite a lot of him. And um, yeah, I talk to him before every game, after every game, on how I can get better, what I'm doing well. So he's been um, yeah, he's been amazing for me. Oh, we're so used to seeing you flying into the right wing corner and you did that again twice last night but what about that second try of yours you get it on the 20, you beat off counted yeah. I, I reckon you've beaten six tacklers there's probably more than that uh, you, yeah, <laughs> what happened yeah. in that try man? To be honest I didn't know I was just reacting to things it was, <laughs> um, everything was happening so fast and yeah, like I said I was just reactions to certain little things and 
um, got over the line and I was just cheering and still still kind of processing. I had to go watch it back and be like, oh, what was going on there? <laughs> it's a terrific try. But the, the, dive yeah. in, the dive into the right wing corner at pace, as I say, we've seen it so often. How much work yeah. do you put in during the week to that particular skill set? Uh, yeah, there's, there's sessions where, like I said, Rich Agar um, gives us opportunities to, uh, but it's on a pad, so it's not too sore. Um, but yeah, we um, yeah we, we we practice that quite a bit. It's uh, one of the fun things about training in the fourth and half and do the rolling rock while we get to practice dive in the quarter. <laughs> oh, it's incredible! And, and- no, nah, we yeah we, we we get our we get our fish out tackling like the fourth. But yeah, that's uh, that's one thing at training that uh, it, it's pretty fun to do. But yeah, to be honest, it's um, we don't do much on the wing, so when we get opportunities like that, we like to dramatise it a bit. Oh, righto. Righto. Well, I don't believe that, but I'll, I'll take your word for it. But you must now be at the point where, where you kind of, in that situation now, because you've worked on it and because it's working for you, you must feel like you're going to score every time you're in that situation now, do you? Yeah, uh, it's um, it's definitely throughout the season you build confidence in, in getting them, so... So yeah, there's still there's still a lot of lot that goes into it. Like there's been a few times where you know you can't get there and you come back in, you just got to take the tackle. So what mum like what doesn't notice is actually what um, Sean does, where he squares up um, Murata, his line, um, Chans and and Rocco. Uh, what they do sort of gives us that that path. But um, if things don't go right in the inside, yeah, we sort of tend to come in, or we just got to take the tackle. So. Um, so yeah, it's, it's um, they're, they're doing amazing, and I get to uh, reap the rewards. But yeah, there's a lot that goes actually goes into it. This is your your tenth season in the NRL. It, it's easily yeah. your best try scoring season. But is this the best you've played? Do, do you feel like you're playing at your peak? Yeah, yeah, definitely. This is probably my best season to date um, in terms of um, in terms of uh, yeah, like things that are happening for me on the field, but. I think off the field has probably been the best, to be honest. Like, if I'm being serious, um, off the field is probably the happiest I've been. Uh, I mean, I'm back home where I'm from, and, and um, our kids are thriving back here, which, like, as a dad, that's all you really want. So when you get to your job, your mind's clear and you can see your own. Your kids are thriving, mate. They're excited. I know I'm holding you yeah. up from, uh, from playing with them. So what are you up to yeah, today, yeah, mate? Right. You, must, you must enjoy the day after a win, do you? Especially when you've got the whole weekend. Yeah, well, it was my birthday on Thursday, and it's my wife's birthday today. So we um, we're trying to find a babysitter, so uh, a babysitter for tonight, so we can get out for dinner or something like that. But yeah, it might be just a low-key night at home, put the kids to bed, and um, then watch a movie. Oh, mate, love chatting to you, mate. Um, your celebrations of all sorts in your house at the moment. Thanks for taking our yeah. call. I'll, I'll let you get back to the whanau. No worries. Thanks, mate. Appreciate the call. No, I appreciate you taking it, Dallin. Dallin Watini, Zelezniak there on the day of his wife's birthday with three kids to look after, looking for a babysitter. If you can uh, help uh, the Watini Zelezniaks out with a babysitter so mum and dad can go out for dinner, then I'm sure they'd love to hear from you. Um, can I just say again how accessible the Warriors players have been to us this season? I said it last week, and it is a lot easier when you're winning. You're more likely to take our call when you're winning. But they took our call when they were you know, on that streak of, what, four losses and five. They still put players up for us. Uh, and, I mean, Dylan Watini Zelezniak could easily have said, no, no, it's my wife's birthday today, mate. Sorry, I've got the kids here. Um, can't take your call. Say, no, no, just give us a yell. For more from Weekend Sport with Jason Pine, listen live to News Talk ZB weekends from midday or follow the podcast on iHeartRadio.